kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. wow. Kitty TV. One day, the kittens were waiting anxiously for Daddy to bring home a new TV set as the old one was broken. <gasps> Look, kittens, here's our new TV. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Right. <laughs> Already, turn it on. Can I do it? Can I? Huh? Huh? Well, well what's she saying? Cookie, turn the volume up. Yeah, I'm trying to. Hmm. There's just no sound. It looks like we'll have to return it to the store. It's new, so they'll exchange it. Hmm, there's no need to take it back. I can get it working myself. I just need to get my tools, all right? <laughs> hey, look at me! I'm on TV, everyone! Mommy, Daddy, hi! <laughs> Right. Well, now, it should work just perfectly. Wow, Daddy must be really smart to be able to fix a TV. Huh? Uh, that's worse, Dad. Well, that's strange. <laughs> Maybe I'll just take it back to the shop and let them repair it. Gone a long time. Do you guys think the TV doctor is going to fix it? <sighs> I'm sorry, but the set just didn't make it. What if the TV has to wear a bandage for a while? When's it going to be healed? I can't see anything at all. What if it comes back from the shop and still isn't working right, guys? What if it freezes? I, the great Sherlock Holmes, have worked out who stole the golden necklace, and their name is. Oh, no, wait, who did it? Who? Or what if it shuts off all by itself? The score is tied in the final seconds of the most dramatic game in the history of the sport with one final kick. Ah, uh, wait, you gotta be kidding me. Hmm? Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> but, but Daddy, where's the TV? TV? <laughs> Don't worry, kittens. There was just one little piece broken. They're fixing it, and we can pick it up first thing tomorrow, all right? What? Only tomorrow? But that's such a long time. Yeah, we'll be old and gray by then. Wow, an entire day without TV. Oh, I really miss the TV. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a really good idea. Let's think of all the shows we love to watch on TV, and then make them ourselves. Because that way, we won't be bored at all. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Attention, please. Show starting now. <laughs> <laughs> so Cookie made a super sports show. <laughs> Pudding made a first-rate weather forecast. And then there was a wonderful concert. <laughs> there were even some exciting movies, too. <laughs> the kitty cats and their parents entertained each other with homemade shows all evening and had the best time all together watching their new favorite channel, Kitty TV. The phone. <laughs> One fun fall day, the kitty cats were playing with their friends on the playground. <laughs> then along came Chase. Meow. Meow. Look what my father just gave to me. A, a cell phone. phone. <laughs> it's got a music app with tons of songs.
takes photos. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> but most importantly, check this out. Super cool. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Can I have a turn playing too? And me. Can I also have a turn? But first, me. Come on, come on, go! The kitty cats played with Chase's new phone for hours. So I'm gonna ask Chase if I can borrow his phone after lunch so I can take a picture of a slug that I found. And then I want to use it to listen to my very favorite song. I'll finish my cyber soccer tournament too. Wait a sec. Oh. Oh. Hey, we should ask Mommy and Daddy to buy us each a telephone. That way, we won't need to ask for Chase's phone all the time. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Well, a phone is very useful when you need to call someone and talk to them about something. But using it all the time is not good. Imagine what would happen if everyone spent all their time talking on the phone instead of to each other in person. Meow there, Cupcake. How have you been? Long time no see. Candy, it has been a while. We should really meet up sometime. Or if instead of listening to real live music, only listened on their phones. Huh? Uh. Or imagine if everyone only played phone soccer instead of the real thing. And the ball hasn't moved once in 44 minutes! Boo! Yuck! That wouldn't be anything like soccer. We live in the real world instead of on the phone. Thank, Thank you, Mommy. Mommy. Super yummy, Mommy. My pleasure, kids. Time to play! Boris, Dart, and Smudge were still glued to Chase's new phone. They couldn't put it down. Goal! Ten to zero! So awesome. I have a really good idea. We have to get them to play with us instead of the telephone. Another goal. Awesome. What? Smudge, let's play some soccer while you're waiting for your phone turn. Yeah, all right. Dart and Boris are ahead of me in line to use the phone anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> Goal. Goodness, this is fun. Huh? <laughs> Boris, I'm gonna play while you're busy with the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Goal. Well, it looks like I won, just like last time. All right then, who wants to play next? Huh? Huh? Uh, uh, Goal! Uh. Hey, wow, a real live soccer game. Hey, everybody, can I play? Yeah, Chase, we could use a good striker. Catch it! Hooray! This is even better than on the phone. <laughs> Meow? Mommy? Yeah, I'm here at the park. All of us are going to play a game of real life soccer now. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> 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 Phones are great for calling someone when you need to talk to them. Goal! But playing is always more fun in the real world with friends. Goal! Aliens! One evening, the kitty cats were over at their friend Chase's house. Every evening, I look up at those stars. I hope someday I'll spot a real UFO and get to meet some real aliens. But no one's ever found a real alien ever. Oh, yeah, I know. Kittens, time to head back home. Thanks very much for having us. <laughs> Who knows if aliens will ever visit Earth? They sure haven't come here yet. I feel bad because Chase really wants to meet aliens. What if he waits forever and then it doesn't happen? Forever's a really long time. I feel bad for him too. Why don't we pretend to be aliens for Chase and tell him we come from a planet way out in space? Great idea. Think how excited he's going to be. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! 
The next morning, the kittens dressed up like they were from a distant planet. They put on hooded raincoats, headbands with antennas, and cool sunglasses. Oi! One second. Thanks for your help. Hey, shouldn't our voices sound different? If they don't, Chase will know who we are. Salutations from space, Earthling. We are aliens from the faraway planet Catavius. We come in, uh, in peace. No way! Real aliens, awesome! Oi. I've been waiting for you to come. Guess you learned our language. What language does everyone speak back on Catavius? It sounds like this. Meow, 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 meow. That's really funny. Tell me something cool about the planet you come from. Hmm. The gravity on our planet is so strong that everybody there must bend over and walk four-legged. We also use four legs to climb up crazy space trees. And if we do ever fall down, we land on all four legs every single time that we fall. And sometimes beams of light appear, and everyone tries to catch them. It's the favorite sport on our planet. <laughs> what a fascinating place. And now I'll tell you how we all live. This is a rocket to fly into outer space. And this is a swing. This is a ball. Chase told the kittens many things that they, of course, already knew. It's a pillow for us to put our heads on when we're sleeping. This is a clock. Its job is to tell you the time. This is a telescope, a present from my dad this morning. And this is a book. It has pictures. We were supposed it's to be back home for lunch. It's we're late. Yeah, yeah, but how can we leave? I've got a really good idea. Here's the way to open a window. And here's the way to close one. And this is... Thanks very much, Earth Creature. But we must depart now. Otherwise, our, uh, spaceship will just take off without us and we'd be stopped. You guys really have a real spaceship? I have to see it, please. Run! Hold on! I'm coming! Where's your spaceship? Is it really cool? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Chase will know it was us all along. <sighs> we just didn't want you to wait forever to meet your aliens. That's why we pretended to be aliens ourselves. Chase, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I knew it was you guys all the time. But it was completely awesome. Why don't you come over later tonight? We'll look at all the stars through my brand new telescope. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! This is the fish constellation. And this is the big cat constellation. These four stars are its tail. See? The kitten saw that outer space is so beautiful that you look at it forever. All of us can gaze at the stars and imagine. The feathery thief. One day, the kitty cats were playing in their room as usual when they started to notice something odd. Did you take it? I don't have it. Candy, my brand new whistle is gone. Just wait. First I have to look for my nice new hairpin. Nope. You didn't take it, right? My magnifying glass is gone. Candy, did you pick it up? Why would I want your magnifying glass? But my hairpin must have been taken by one of you. It, it wasn't, wasn't me. me. Well, I haven't seen your hairpin or magnifying glass, but I want my whistle. But who took my hairpin? Give me back my magnifying glass. Come on. All right. What is all this fighting? Now, which of you kitty cats can tell me where my other earring's gone? We, we didn't, didn't take it. it. That means there's a thief in our house. <laughs> if there really was a robber in the house, I'd have probably spotted him. Huh? What's going on? My jelly spoon was just right here. Where is it? <gasps> I got it. 
There's a thief in the house. We have to figure out just what the thief wants. But first, we have to figure out why he took the items he did. A spoon, an earring, magnifying glass, hairpin, and whistle. Well, he took a jelly spoon, so he must really like jelly. <laughs> of course, everyone likes jelly, so that's no help at all. They took one of my earrings. And my other hairpin. Which could mean that our thief is a girl, right? And maybe they took my magnifying glass because they can't see well. And she likes sports because she also took my referee whistle. All right, so Grandma is our robber? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, Grandma is a very clever lady. Hang on now. We can't accuse someone without evidence. What we should do is leave some bait for the thief, you know? What do all these things have in common? For one thing, they're all shiny. Daddy's car key is shiny, so they used it as bait. Everyone held their breath and waited to see who the thief was. Looks like the robber's a magpie, guys. Whoa! Don't let that bird fly away with my car keys! <laughs> Great, how am I ever gonna get to work now? Hang on, dear. Don't panic. I have an idea where all our missing things are. Look at that! It's like a treasure chest in there. Seems like we weren't the only victims of this particular thief. The kitty cats called their neighbors, who came running when they heard the neighborhood robber had been caught. Ah. They had all lost shiny things. <laughs> Here's just our stuff left. Ready? Earring, dear. <laughs> Magnifying glass. Your hairpin. Ah. Whistle. Ah. My keys and spoon, yay! So that's that. Let's head home. Oh. I feel bad for the bird. She really loves sparkly things, but she doesn't have any of them left. Hey, I've got an idea. How about we find some other really sparkly, shiny thing for the birdie? Then she'd have shiny stuff that was all hers, and nobody would try to take it away ever. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So the kitty cats left a nice shiny bottle cap for the magpie. And thanks to the feathery thief, they learned that you always need to figure out the facts of a case before you accuse someone, especially your grandma. Walkie talkies. One day, Mommy and Daddy gave the kittens an unusual gift. Dear kittens, these wonderful gadgets are called walkie talkies. Over. Hear you loud and clear. With them, you three can talk to each other from a distance. <laughs> so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Attention, this is Candy, and I'm laying on my bed. Over! Uh, attention, this is Pudding. I'm just here in the kitchen eating an apple. Over. This is Cookie. I'm looking out the window. Let's play outside. Over. I'm coming. Me too. <laughs> This is Cookie, and I'm outside. Over. Um, yeah, we can see you. We can hear you too, Cookie. I guess we really only need these walkie-talkies when we're way far away from each other. This is Candy here, and I am in Africa. Over. This is Pudding here, and I'm up in the Arctic Circle. Over. Hey, can anybody down there hear me? Over. Walkie-talkies don't work when you're in orbit. Did that lawnmower just pass by on its own? Never mind that. Let's figure out cool stuff to do with our walkie-talkies. Well, we could give one to Mommy so she's always able to get in touch with us. But that's why we have a telephone. And plus, everyone would hear whatever Mommy was saying. Careful on the fly, cookie kins, or you'll tear the backside of your pants like you did last time. Oh, shush, Mom! The, the backside, backside of your, your pants? pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why does that 
lawnmower keep running around everywhere by itself? I don't know. Just like I don't know what to use these walkie-talkies for, it sort of seems like they're not really that useful. Attention, huh? this huh? is the police inspector speaking. Oh. The city gardener's lawnmower has gone missing. Please report it if you spot it. Over. Me, wow. It sounds like Cookie managed to find the police walkie-talkie huh? station. That's given me a really good idea. Kitty Cat Search Squad here, reporting a break in the case. We've seen the lawnmower. It's running on its own. Over. Cookie? Candy? Pudding? Yes, it's us. Then by all means, continue the search. Report back with any new information. Over. Great, Great. copy, copy that. that. Oh, wow. We'll be looking for the lawnmower just like real life police officers. I found some lawnmower tracks here. They lead right inside this bush. Over. Oh. <laughs> I found some lawnmower tracks around the big old oak tree. Over. And I see lawnmower tracks pretty much everywhere. I'm barely sure I can hear the lawnmower. It's somewhere over there. Yeah, I see it. It's headed away from us towards home, guys. <laughs> 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 Police, come in! The Kitty Cat Search Squad have found the lawnmower in our own backyard! Roger that. I'm on my way. Uh, uh, oh, yeah! My beautiful lawnmower! Oh, Daddy missed you so much! Come on, stop! Please? Stop, lawnmower! Uh, 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 <laughs> I can't thank oh. you enough for finding it. I don't know what I'd do without it. It's the Kitty Cat Search Squad that you should thank. Oh, cookie, candy, and pudding. Thanks, friends. Our pleasure. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Oh, what a remarkable job you've done trimming our lawn. <laughs> Come inside, everyone, and enjoy some freshly baked muffins. Mommy here. Tea and muffins are on their way. Do you copy? Over. Yeah, loud and clear. Now, if anyone needs to find something, the Kitty Cat Search Squad will always be ready to help. The restaurant. One day, Mommy and Daddy took the kittens to a restaurant to celebrate their wedding anniversary. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening. We're celebrating with our favorite meal tonight. This place has got the best pumpkin pie in the entire town. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Shh! Hush, kittens. You must mind your manners at a restaurant this night. Oh. Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening, sir. Allow me to escort your family to your table. Here we are. a picture from your wedding. You looked really good back then, Mom. <laughs> looked back then? Mommy and Daddy still look just as good. Uh -huh. hmm. <laughs> ah, oh, we know what we'd like to order. Can you please bring us the specialty of the house, the pumpkin pie? But of course. This is boring, guys. Is this any way to have an anniversary celebration? I expected something really fun. Where are the fireworks and balloons? Why are there no rose petals falling from the ceiling? And aren't doves supposed to hold up a congratulations banner? Uh, this can't be much fun uh, for our poor parents. Let's try and figure out how to make this celebration even better. Well, we can ask the piano player to play a song that our parents love. We can ask the waiter to light some nice romantic candles when he brings us our pie. That's a great idea, Cookie. And I know something we can use instead of rose petals. Pink napkin pieces. Awesome. Operation Celebration begins now. Mm -hmm. Mommy? Mm -hmm. Daddy? Mm -hmm. May we go to the restroom to wash our paws? Mm -hmm. You may, kittens. Just be careful. 
The kittens tried their very best to help their parents enjoy their special night. Pudding made arrangements with the pianist. As did Cookie with the waiter. <laughs> and Candy collected napkins. I figured out how to turn off the light. The candles will look better in the dark. Now we just need to wait until they bring our pumpkin pie out. Look, it's huh? coming now! All right, it's time! <laughs> hey! Very sorry. Mr. Waiter Cat, you were supposed to light the candles when you brought our pie out. But that wasn't your pie, little ones. It was for that gentle cat there. Whew. Here comes yours now. Oh, no. We wanted to make this the perfect celebration, but we just ruined everything. <laughs> we can see that you tried hard, kittens. It means a lot to us. <laughs> However, it's better if we started heading home. I'm very sorry for all this. I'd like you to have our pie as an apology. Oh, no worries. But you have something big to celebrate, don't you? So please, take it home with you. I have a really good idea. Welcome to Le Fantastic Kitty Cat Restaurant. Might I suggest that you order the specialty of the house? Pumpkin pie. Enjoy. Happy anniversary, my dear wonderful wife. Happy anniversary, darling. Congratulations! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kitty cats made a lovely celebration, just like in a proper restaurant. It was wonderfully festive and very touching for their mommy and daddy. Bicycle! It was a big day. Mommy and daddy gave Candy her very first big girl bicycle. Surprise! <laughs> Hooray! Now I'll be able to enter the big bicycle race with you guys! So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wait, I just remembered I don't know how to ride a big girl bike. You'll learn to ride without training wheels in no time if your brothers give you lessons. <laughs> yeah! It's pretty easy. Yep. Candy was very proud to show off her new bike to their friends. Look at you! Candy, you look all grown up on your new bicycle. It's beautiful, Candy. When are we going to start the race, everyone? Well, we have to teach Candy how to ride her new bike first. Uh... It's easy, Candy. Watch! Cookie rode so fast, poor Candy could barely follow what he was doing. Get all that? No. Well, just give it a try anyway. Ah! Well, that didn't work at all. Here, I'll show you the proper way to ride. Pudding did just what Cookie did, only much slower. Candy watched as closely as she could. Ah! I don't think I can do this. Watch, this is how you turn. Look, the most important thing is that you pedal really fast. Um, I think the most important thing to learn is balance. Ringing the bell is important because it sounds so very pretty. Candy tried her best to remember all of her friend's advice. Come on, Candy, you can do it. Ah! Ouchie. How will I ever remember to turn with the handlebars and pedal really fast and keep my balance and ring the bell at the same time? Well, if you start at the top of a steep hill, you won't have to pedal hard to get so fast. But, Cookie, how will I keep my balance? Uh. Then for balance, we could just put really giant wheels on your bike. Ah! But pudding, wouldn't that be sort of dangerous? <laughs> <laughs> we should just tie a rubber band to two trees and then... Yeah! Nah, we should tie some pretty pink balloons to Candy's bike. You'd stay well balanced and look just lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna learn to do this. Ah. Chase's daddy had arrived to start the big race. What was Candy going to do? It's time to start the race, little ones. Here's the starting line, and the finish line is at that red flag. Be good sports and have fun. But I can't. Hooray! After I win, I'll come back and show you how to ride, Candy. I promise. But if I win, I want to be the one who teaches her how. 
On your marks. Kids, get set. I'm going to win and teach Candy how to ride. No, you're not. All right, don't give up, Candy. Just try to keep your balance. Oh. Now just try to pedal. Oh. Balance, pedaling, turning, and ringing the bell as well. <laughs> yeah! Meanwhile, the competition was getting pretty fierce. I'll teach Candy way better than you. I will. Funny when you're all stacked up like that. Huh? After a dramatic four bike pileup, the winner is Little Candy! <laughs> Are you kidding us? Hey, hey Dad. Dad! Hey, hey Mom. Mom! Candy learned how to ride her big girl bike all by herself. It was awesome! She won the race and beat all of us. That's right. I had a feeling everything was going to turn out all right. Well, it didn't turn out so great for us because we lost the race. We didn't even finish. <laughs> Candy learning how to ride a bike is a win for the entire family because it means we'll be able to go on bike rides all together. There are trails all around our park. Daddy had already mapped out their first family bike ride picnic. Awesome! And when the family is on a long ride, we'll all be wearing our glow-in-the-dark bicycle safety vests. All, all right! right. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Candy may have won the race, but the family got a new way to have fun together, which is the best prize of all. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the harvest! One day, Mommy and Daddy took the kitty cats to visit Granny in the country. Granny! Meow! Oh! Welcome, my little dear ones. You're gonna play with us all day, like last time, right? Yeah! 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 Bye bye, kiddies. Bye bye. Play, play. play. Uh, we will be having playtime, but first I have to spend a little time taking care of the crops that are growing in my garden. Just look at all the things I've planted: apples, carrots, strawberries, flowers, and all of them need to be looked after. Hey, I've got a great idea. Let's help Granny do her gardening. That way she'll be done with her work sooner and have extra time to play with us. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Put your paws up if you're having lots of fun. Cheer up, kitties. After this, we get to pull all the weeds out of the garden and water all the flowers. If we do all that, we won't have time to play. Look, maybe we should skip something, like scraping this dirt around. But digging the soil is very important. We can only plant potatoes in loose soil. Doesn't work any other way. Have to loosen the soil, or you might as well plant your potatoes in concrete, which is impossible, by the way. <laughs> Then maybe we could skip the part where we pull all the weeds out. But weeds can mess up the look of the whole flower bed. Imagine if your mommy decided to just stop cutting her hair. Before you know it, her hair would completely take over. Ha! My darling, huh? Oh. Ah, oh, no. ah. huh? Oh. <laughs> but what if we, um, just, uh, wait until next time it rains instead of watering everything now? But plants need water every single day, just like us. What if your daddy decided he'd wait for it to rain before he took his next shower, huh? Yay! <laughs> All clean. <laughs> Gosh, looks like plants really count on us to help them live their lives. We have to take care of the plants. It's the right thing to do. I'm gonna march right into that flower bed and get rid of all the weeds. And me and Pudding will take care of the soil. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's kitten made rainstorm time. Would you like a nice drink, Mr. Apple Tree? The carrots are taking a shower. Now your leaves are so clean, strawberries. This will help all the flower buds to open up. The kitty cats got so involved in helping with the garden, they forgot all about playtime. Almost. Phew! You're such good helpers. Well, now that the garden work's all done, is it playtime? Uh, sure, yeah. Why don't we play the harvest game? Is it a really fun game? Ah, uh, it's tons of fun, and it's helpful as well. Mm-hmm. 
Granny and the kitty cats had a great time collecting all the crops and washing them with cool, clean water. And now it's time to taste all that we gathered. That sounds great. We could really use a break from the game. Um, mm, mm. Oh, I love strawberries so much. Um, it's all because mm, of your hard work. Mm, Thank you. You're the mm, world's best brand mm, kittens. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Oh. <sighs> well, you must have played really hard all day to get this tired. Yes, I don't think any bedtime stories will be needed tonight. Bring them back any time and maybe stay yourself. There's a few games I'd love to see you playing. Oh, yeah, like that game you taught me, Paint the Barn. And what was that other one, Chopping Firewood? <laughs> I've got a great idea for a new game. Who will fall asleep first? Oh, I win. <laughs> the kitty cats had gathered a delicious harvest and had an absolutely wonderful day. The Super Cat! One day, Cookie, Candy, and Pudding were reading exciting superhero comics. So cool! Look at Glow Kitty. He can shoot light in the dark from his eyes just like lanterns. And Fur Cat can instantly unleash the mighty power of Fluff. Yeah, but Lightning Cat's the best. Look at the lightning shooting out of her paws. Being a superhero is just so awesome. Uh-huh. All of them have some kind of super amazing power. Hey, why don't we play a superhero game? We could make our very own super outfits. And super names. And we can have super awesome powers, right? Super! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And so the excited super kitty cats began making their costumes. Captain Strong! Cape Cat! Meow Girl! To, to the, the rescue! rescue. Oh, wow! You look like actual superheroes. Superheroes have got to have someone to save, though. I could be the pretty cat in trouble, guys. You know, waiting to be rescued. And then one of you can save the day. Hey, hey that's, that's great. great! So I'll be the one to save her with Cape Cat's super power of flight. Goodness, someone please save me! Horrible! Her dress will get all wet! Um... Ha-ha! You're my superhero, Cape Cat. Thanks. Nah, this rescue is really a job for Captain Strong with my super-powered muscles. Goodness, someone please save me! A meteor's coming! It doesn't look friendly! Captain Strong. Wait, wait, wait! I'll be doing the rescuing here myself. I'm Meow Girl, and I can move things with my incredible mind. Goodness, someone please save me! Gosh, there's a fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Superest hero ever is Meow Girl. And plus, Cupcake is my friend, so I should really be the one who rescues her. We're all friends with Cupcake. Yeah, we should let her pick who saves her. Hey! Oh. I'm ready to be rescued, guys, anytime. I'm pretty scared of heights. Cupcake was playing the part of a cat stuck up in a tree. Cape Cat's ready to fly to the rescue, yeah! Rescue time! So you've been saved, Cupcake, you can come down. Wait, here comes Meow Girl. I will bring you safely back down with my Mega Mind. Rescue time. Done. Come down. Where's the fun in that, though? I'd look awkward climbing back down by myself. What kind of rescue is that? Um, none of us actually have superpowers. You know that, right? And so we aren't really able to save you. Oh, goodness. Guess I shouldn't have climbed up here, right? Oh. <gasps> Oh. Oh, goodness, someone please save me! Cupcake is about to fall on a cactus! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. I have a really good idea! Cookie, grab on tight to the tree trunk, and then Pudding, you just grab a hold of his cape and pull it as hard as you possibly can! Ugh. Jump for it, Cupcake! Ha -ha! Oh, wow! You 
three just saved Cupcake for real. Hey, yeah, with the super thinking of Candy's brain, hmm. Pudding's mega strong muscles, hmm. and with Cookie's super cape. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 Thanks a lot. You're all my superheroes. Working together, we can solve almost any problem. Super! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Think you could save me next? And me! <laughs> it turned out working together was the kitten's real superpower. They were a real super team. The Super Kitty Cats. Cookie's Scooter Skills. One day, the kitten saw a commercial showing a cat on a super fab scooter. Oh, wow! Look how cool that scooter is! I want to do that, too! Super Steel Scooters are so cool, they'll make you cooler than this cool cat! Awesome! Daddy, I need the cool scooter from the commercial! I've been saving up! I want to use my money to get it! Ah, so an ordinary scooter simply won't do? No! A normal one doesn't come close to the same level of coolness! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, since you're paying for most of it, I guess we better get the cool one. Ah, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! At the store, Cookie bought everything he needed to look just like the cat in the TV commercial. Cookie, you look like the coolest cat of all time! You do look quite handsome. Now I'm going to be able to do some super cool tricks. Watch this! Now, was that a cool trick or not? Not. Falling's not cool at all. It's a really good thing that Cookie's wearing a helmet and pads. I'm only warming up, so I'll be even cooler than the coolest cat who ever lived. <laughs> uh huh? Something's wrong with this dumb little ramp, obviously. How about instead I just jump over the sandbox? Whoa. Turns out you're the coolest cat never. Which doesn't look handsome at all. I know why none of my tricks are working. Obviously, the scooter's broken. You need to take it to the place you got it and trade it in for a good one. Daddy and the kittens went to the store to let the sales cat examine the scooter. There's nothing wrong with this scooter. In fact, it's in perfect working order. Yeah? Then could my helmet be messed up? Nothing wrong with the helmet. What about the... Your safety pads are also just fine. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. We'll get going then. Maybe it just fixed itself on the way here somehow. Cookie, what part exactly was broken? Cookie couldn't do super cool stunts, like the awesome rider on TV. Well, since we've learned it isn't broken, maybe you can do cool tricks now. Okay, I'll try. I'm going to ride down these oh. steps. Cookie, stop! Cookie, you don't know how to ride downstairs, and I don't either. Does that mean that the cool TV cat can't really do them? And the super skill scooter isn't really cool at all? Were they just lying about it? <laughs> Not at all. That cat on TV can really do those cool tricks. Come with me. I'll show you what I mean. Daddy and the kittens went to the skate park, where the cat from the commercial was practicing. <gasps> wow. wow! I can't make my scooter do all that, even though I've got the same exact model you have. <laughs> I can do all this stuff on my scooter because I practice all the time, like for hours and hours every day. It's a lot of hard work. Oh, so then it's not the scooter that's cool, but the rider. I have a really good idea. Cookie just needs some time to practice. If he does, soon he'll be doing lots of super cool tricks. Yeah, that's right. I'd be glad to give the little dude a lesson or two. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! 
the kittens learn that every skill requires practice. Then you can do cool tricks on any scooter.